<sighs> Take a deep breath. <sighs> it's pretty powerful. Do you recognize at the tip of your nose, you have a beautiful healing tool? It's no surprise that the practice of breath work has been gaining momentum and popularity in more recent years. We're also recognizing that breath has the most intimate capacity to affect our nervous system, shift our, our physical functions, our physiological functions of living and breathing and digesting and metabolizing life and food and information that is coming into us in any given moment. When we become more present, when we connect to this capacity of receiving life and releasing what we no longer need in every given moment, we have the capacity to make huge shifts. This is what breathwork is all about. My name is Ashley Ledman. I am a breathwork therapist, a breathwork facilitator, and I train others to facilitate breathwork. And one of the more increasing, um, the questions that's coming into my field more often these days is, what does it take for me to become a breathwork teacher? What does it take for me to become certified? So I wanna answer a few questions right here in this video. First of all, breath work is a modality that is used across the spectrum of lifespan. It's used with children for focus in schools. It's used for um, sports, uh, sports players for uh, access into um, greater, greater movement on the courts. It's, it's used to decrease anxiety. It's used to decrease symptoms and signs of depression. Breathwork is also used to help resolve conflict and trauma that many of us are, are infiltrated with because of just the, the way life goes. So breathwork can be many things to many people. And depending on the person that I'm sitting in front of speaking with about breathwork, I, I, I shift my, my description at any given time. But in and of itself, breath breathwork is a practice that is designed to take you into a more expanded consciousness, a place where some, some practitioners actually call it a non-ordinary state of consciousness or an altered state of consciousness. And oftentimes in those altered states of consciousness, we have the ability to access information and truths that are valuable for our own individual or maybe even our collective healing. On a very practical, physical level, breathwork has the ability to help us to achieve greater balance in our nervous system, greater effect, affection in our effectiveness, in our, in our metabolism, in our circulatory system, in our lymphatic system. We have many, many systems that are all regulated by our nervous system. So at the core, when our nervous system is in balance, it creates our ability to be in balance in all of the other aspects of this amazing machine of the human body. So breath work itself, it, it does affect our respiratory system, our capacity to, to breathe deeply. Our lungs are one of our, our, our bigger organs of filtration and expansion. It helps us to filter out what we no longer need through the byproduct of carbon dioxide. And also when we can fully receive life through a deep, expansive, expressive inhalation, then uh, we have the ability to reset the nervous system to where we are in sync with our ability to let go and our ability to, to, to take in at the same time. So breath work on that physical level helps to create balance. It helps to regulate. And then on an energetic level, it helps to manage our ability to be present so that we recognize the, the codes that we're operating from, the grooves that are being played out in our lives when life seemingly sits upon us through stress or resistance or through just simple living of life. So when we start to slow down and pay attention and, and start to inquire into who we are and how we operate, 
we start to see patterns. We see habits and patterns that are, are quite obvious when we look at them and we observe and we make conscious choices. Do we keep these patterns? Do they serve us still? Do we let them go? Do we consciously make choices to create new patterns and habits and new grooves? And if so, how do we do this? This is what we ask in a breathwork practice. So in a breathwork practice, you might find yourself in a group of people. You might find yourself with a, a facilitator in a one-on-one -on -one session, depending on your specific needs. I love teaching both privates and, and groups. Oftentimes in a group situation, the group itself is creating the collaboration. The group creates the, the expansion and the, the, the energy of the experience. In a one-on-one -on -one session, <clears throat> you might find that you have specific energetic and personal needs and, and those needs can be addressed in a one-on-one -on -one session with a facilitator. So if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about breath work, you can simply check out my SoundCloud channel, search for me on SoundCloud. You can type in my name, Ashley Ludman. And I also offer many experiences where people come and learn to use this as a deep dive practice for themselves, but then they also learn to support others as a facilitator. What you need to know to become a facilitator is you need to have the ability to pay attention, desire something new, to recognize your limits, to recognize how you are in this world. This is really what we're asking for in a facilitator training. Of course, we'll all do this through the examination of breath. And specifically, we go into different breath exercises that eventually prepare the breather to breathe in a way where you're breathing consciously and connecting the breath in and out without stopping. When that happens, you might find that you have various things that come up, sensations in the body, memories, emotions, many things can happen in the, the span of a breathwork session. The, the pathway into becoming a conscious and connected and confident breathwork facilitator might take some time. I've been training and studying in this meth method for um, over 10 years. I've been teaching the breath in some capacity for about 20 years now. And I recognize that there's always more to learn because human beings are divinely and mysteriously complex. So whenever I think I've seen it all, there's always something new, the very next breath that I have to learn. So because the breathwork profession is not regulated, you'll find many different evolutions and, and incarnations of breathwork offerings out there. You might find a two-day training that is, is beautiful and amazing. You might get so much out of that. And you might find three-week trainings that are also just as powerful. So depending on what you are looking for um, and your location and your resources, you might start to inquire into various aspects of, of different breathwork facilitator offerings. What I found most advantageous is a deep dive. So I'd love to teach trainings up to two weeks, 10 days, but I also recognize the, the logistics that go into taking that amount of time off. So I have condensed some of my foundation offerings into five-day trainings. You can find me in New York City, April 1st through 5th at the New York Open Center. I'm thrilled to be offering a foundations level training. If you're just interested in, in using breath work as a tool for your personal health and well-being and practice, come and join us. It's, it's also a training that's designed to help people understand how to hold space for another person and how to use some of the therapeutic tools of this practice in a, a basic introductory way. If you would like to learn more and like to use this as a continued ongoing practice professionally, of course, the more you study, the more you become um, effective at the tools that you study. Breathwork itself is not regulated, but there are standards that are held by the Global International Breathwork um, therapy and alliance. So they recommend about 400 hours, which takes about two years if you're going full on 
with that, that style of training. I offer between five to seven to 10 day trainings at one time. So I like to have experiences where people can also come in and do some additional integration work between modules. So each module that I'll be offering in the next six months is five days, and we'll have some longer modules at the end of, of 2020. So if you have any additional questions about breath work, about the tools, about using this as a modality for healing and personal growth and transformation, please reach out to me. You can find me at ashleyledman.com. Email me directly from me at ashleyledman.com. Search for me on SoundCloud or on Instagram. You can reach me at The Breath Mystic. Just recognize that in this breath, you have so many choices, new potential, new reality. It's all right there for you. Take a deep breath and enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>